I just opened a new Blender file just in case you want to follow along from that. We are actually going to use the cube in this situation because the playing cards are pretty simple. So go ahead and hit tab and then up here we have vertices which is these little corner dots. Uh, we have edges which are the lines that are connecting them and then we've got faces which are the faces. Now to quickly go through these it's one two three on the top row of keys if you have a regular keyboard so just keep that in mind. For now I'm going to go ahead and um, hit faces G Z and push that down. Now we've gone under the floor but that's okay so it's not thin enough for me so G Z one more time and then down. Oh sorry I forgot to turn on my keys. There we go. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure you guys are able to follow along. Now uh, I tabbed into object mode so now I'm moving the whole thing G Z. And I'm going to move it up and I just want it to rest on the floor. So the way to know that you're on the floor of the invisible whatever 3D world this is, is if you can see those lines, they are above your mesh. Very simple. So that looks about as thin as a playing card. Um, just to note, I'm not using scale. You, normally when you make something, you you know make it to real scale, but we don't have to worry about that right now because you're just learning. We're going to hit S and Y. So we want it the width of a playing card and then make it a little longer so S and X and that looks oh that's a little too wide so we're gonna S and Y now it's too long alright good enough alright so that's about the general size of a playing card now we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode and now we can do some cool stuff now first thing I want to teach you is loops. Uh, loops are extremely, extremely helpful. This is this tool right here. I don't really know. Oh, I guess the controls are right there. Shift spacebar or control R. I just click here. Um, but so what this does is it creates a loop all the way around the model, which is great. So we're going to do one in the middle lengthwise and one in the middle widthwise. Okay. Now for the next one, uh, actually let's do it, let's do these here, so we'll add those there. Now the next one, click and hold and then drag close to the edge about there. We're going to do the same on the other side, click, drag, and let go. Now I always forget to do this, but if you don't click here, you won't be able to work on anything because this gets you out of loop cut mode. Alright, so I'm going to go to faces we're going to hold shift to select multiple faces so we're going to do those and then we're going to do these two and now uh, it's going to be applied to both sides so we're going to hit S and Y and what that's doing you can see here it's curving the corners so undo that S Y and there you go. Since these are just simple cards, we're not going to see them super up close, but if you were making these like really detailed, obviously you'd put in more work. All right. So um, you can see here there's like hard edges. We don't want that. Um, what you want to do is right click, shade smooth. Oh, actually, that looks terrible. Let's just leave it like that. How about that? <laughs> so what this does. Um, I just it's it's a lot to get into we'll get into it in the more advanced stuff but just so you know so this is flat view and this is smooth that's what that does but um, we'll get into that later okay so there you go you got a playing card thank you for watching and no I'm just kidding okay so now we're going to go into UV editing and this is texturing and again this may go over your head just follow along and I will do a whole video about UV editing and textures I promise okay so we're going to go back into edit mode with tab uh, gonna go to vertices and again my tools are not showing up okay so we're going to click the bottom edge and hold alt and then click so that selected the entire loop but it cut off here so alt shift click to 
select both of them and add it to the selection and again here alt shift click alt shift click so now what you've done is you've created a a border all the way around the card now we're going to go to UV and uh, mark seam that tells it where to cut the UV it just helps you out later honestly the UV tools in Blender are not great I'm um, coming from a 3ds background so I'm just I'm doing this the way I can so uh, one thing we need to do is click this this is the x-ray button what this does is uh, let me demonstrate so if I select faces and I go like this if you look I'm not selecting the back and we want to select the entire thing so when you click this button which is the x-ray now I can select everything whether it's on this side or that side and this is not the tool that we want for our card I mean the shape so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here we're going to hold shift and select all the faces make sure to get these edge ones and then you're going to hit control plus to expand the selection uh, you could also uh, do control minus to shrink them but basically what that does is it saves you from having to manually go and click all of these you know so control plus and um, gonna go click here to go to the top view UV project from view alright so make sure you've got this selected to move entire pieces of geometry and that should be good now we're going to flip this upside down and select the bottom parts exact same thing except this time you're not going to expand because this is all there is okay so we're gonna hit G oops select G move that there and I, I know the UV thing might be a little complicated so okay you may be wondering where is everything right now what's going on so what we need to do is actually bring in our textures which um, if you check the link below all all the textures you need are going to be there I've included two different versions one is a sort of grungy cards and one is like clean pristine cards so I'm going to do the grungy cards uh, you're gonna do diffuse uh, diffuse just means sort of like the base color or whatever okay so now they're showing up here but they're not showing up here first of all I need to get out of x-ray mode click that this is what's going to bring textures these two uh, this is like final view and this is uh, texturing but as you can see it's still not here so one last thing we have to do click this down here this is going to control all your materials I promise I'll explain all this later go to base color and click this circle now we're gonna go down to image texture and since we already brought it in here it's already in blender so just click this little button and cards grunge and there you go it's on your card but obviously that's not what we want it to look like so we're gonna go back to uh, tab back into edit mode um, go back to x-ray alright so this is which side of the card are we selecting okay so this is the top of the card now we're going to hit R 90 um, if you type in a number it'll rotate whichever way you want it to go which is very handy um, so let's go ahead and move this here to the first one and then hit S and shrink it down so this is going to be a little bit of adjustment um, we're going to move it where we want it to be now I just want to stretch it out so if I hit S X we can just push it out like that but not too far um, that's good enough it doesn't need to be perfect okay so we've got our card in the front but we need to do the back so uh, we're gonna click over here and then R90 thankfully these cards can go in any direction because sometimes you have to figure out which way is up if you ever need to do that just select two faces and then you'll know which way is which but anyway um, alright so S to shrink it down uh, you can choose the red or the blue I provided both I'm gonna do blue because that's my favorite color because I'm so original alright S to scale we want it to be just the size of the card 
try to get it as close to the middle as you can because then all you have to do is S, X, and ba bomb. All right. So, uh, tab to get back into object mode. As you can see, that's pretty cool. Yeah, made a 3D model. Maybe it's not too exciting for some people, but for you, on your first step to uh, 3D, this is cool. But we're going to take it a little step further to make the materials look cool, like in the preview. So, go back to layout, make sure to turn on this again. Um, okay, we're going to go down to materials again. And this time we're going to go to the shading tab. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Now, if you go back down here, I want you to select this and hit Shift D to duplicate. Whoops, okay. <laughs> click out of this and then click on this. Shift D, cool. All right, whoops. Oh God, what have I done? I have made a horrible mess. Okay, I accidentally duplicated all of these. Don't do that. Okay. So, um, this is just the image texture and we're going to go back to the folder that I provided and this time we're going to go to roughness. So if you have the clean ones, choose that roughness. I have the grungy ones, so I'm gonna choose this. Roughness is just, it tells the engine which parts of the card are shiny and which parts aren't. So we're gonna plug that into roughness. Um, and it's hard to tell. Oh, so we're we need to go into the render tab. It's a lot to explain. I know. I'm just realizing this now. Um, you can't really tell too much because the light is so far away. So we're going to move the light a little closer so I can show you what it's doing. But you can see there, the parts of the card are reflected differently. I'm just trying to rotate this so I can show you, but it's being difficult. There we go. Um, so it just kind of gives a cool effect, but that's a, that's a whole texturing thing. We'll, we'll get into that another time. But for now, let's go back to the UV editing tab and we can do the rest of these aces. And it's gonna be super easy, I promise. Okay, so you already made one card and it's unwrapped. The work is mostly done for you. So we're gonna hit Shift D and you've duplicated it, but make sure to hit Y and move it over. Tab into edit mode, and you're gonna select the top faces. I know it looks like you're selecting the same card, but since this is selected, you're on a different one. Now you're going to hit G, X, and just move it over. And there you go, you got another one. Cool, right? Okay, so tab, shift D, X, I mean Y, sorry. <laughs> There you go. And one more time, Shift D Y. Cool. So, going to this card, tab into edit mode. It's already selected because we're awesome. G Y, I mean X. Oh my God, I'm getting so confused. Sorry guys, I haven't eaten yet. All right, and then uh, tab out of edit mode, click on this, tab back into edit mode. And then here, G X. Bam. All right, and then tab. And for the most part, you've got your cards made, which is awesome. So let's go back to layout. Now this is the part that I want you guys to have fun with and get familiar. Since the back of the card is the same for all of them, what I want you to do is practice moving them around. So shift D and then um, let's do X to move it up here. And then we're gonna hit R180. Uh, Whoa, why is the origin all over the place? All right, so um, just something to learn because I just messed up, I just realized. This dot right here is the center, at least what it's considering the center of the model, which is not good because as you can see when I rotate it, it thinks that this is the center. This is a really easy fix right click and go to set origin and center of mass volume and that just sticks it right in the middle which is what you want so now when you rotate it it's working correctly okay so G Z go down alright so this is what I want you guys to practice I'm gonna hit R Y 180 to rotate it 180 degrees and now you can um, using the G Y 
R Z um, shift D you can practice moving things around which you really really should because you're gonna have to do it a lot and these stupid screen tools just keep going away don't they I'm sorry now we're gonna go into render view which is this one up here and um, for now that's good let's just do one more thing and then we're gonna move on to the last part of this so shift a and then add a plane and then hit s to scale and just make it big now we're going to go to uh, down here to the material tab and then hit new same thing as before in base color click this circle go to image texture and navigate to the folder once more the folder that I provided with everything in it and uh, we're gonna go to table diffuse so go ahead and select that we're just gonna throw that on there and this looks a little weird so let's uh, go down here and lower or I'm sorry raise the roughness all the way and for now we're just gonna leave it at that so it doesn't get too complicated okay and the next part of this is going to be rendering and lighting which is exciting so uh, go ahead and watch that video and then you'll be done